Chapter 4. The Life Cycle of the Vine The vine is a plant with a typical cycle in moderate climates that begins with bud burst in early spring, ending with the falling of the leaves in autumn. Among all of the phases of this cycle, the most important for the quality of the grapes is the ripening phase. It is important to note that, even when the natural cycle of the plant is respected, all vines must be perfected in their evolution by the hand of man. The vine is a climbing tree plant of unlimited growth and therefore needs to be managed. This is where pruning techniques become crucial to shape the vine and also to encourage the proper development of vegetation in general and of fruit in particular. In addition to the main winter pruning, various other types of pruning are carried out throughout the year such as spring pruning. This process is one of the most important for obtaining healthy grapes later on and good wines of high quality. Biological phases of the vine 1. Vegetative rest period part of autumn and all winter. What the plant looks like a trunk with arms and branches. We can see only the wooden part no green leaves or any green vegetative structure. Cause. The soil temperatures do not exceed 10 degrees, thereby making it impossible for the roots to absorb soil nutrients. 2. Blooming period. Late winter and early spring. What the plant looks like. The plant buds begin to swell, to form a bud down, where all the chromosomal information is stored and differentiated into leaves, stems, leaves and grapes, all of them tiny. Cause. The temperature rises above 10 degrees and absorption starts at the plant roots. 3. Budding period. Early spring. All that tiny structure begins to develop. First out are the leaves that will extend later. After that come the tiny bunches. Cause. The warm spring temperatures. The development will be faster depending on the number of hours of sunlight and available water. 4. Flowering and fruit formation periods Late in the spring, we see the development of very small hermaphrodite flowers which, after pollination normally carried out by insects, are instrumental in forming the fruit. The fruit begins as small berries of the shape and size of a pea. 5. The raisin, midsummer. The pea-like berry begins to increase in size and change in colour, from green to yellow in white grapes and to purple in reds. This process takes about 15 days and coincides with the beginning of August. The herbaceous stems become woody. This stage is very important because it heralds the ripening period, during which the major changes in the grapes occur. 6. Ripening period, from midsummer to early autumn. This is the most important period as it determines the quality of the harvest. The grape is continuously growing in size, losing the high acidity that it had until that time and accumulates more and more sugar. The amount of sugar determines the amount of alcohol that the wine will have later on. This period is concluded with the harvest of the grapes. 7. Falling of the leaves. Between one and two months after grape harvest, Weather conditions bring about less activity in the plant. The absorption of nutrients from the roots slows down. The leaves no longer have the intense activity they had in spring and summer. They turn into a brown or red color and come to a point where they fall. Then comes the winter break, completing the one year vine cycle. The importance of the weather. As we have seen, Climatic conditions are one of the root causes of changes occurring in the plant throughout the year. Meteorology is not an exact science, and frequent and unpredicted weather events can bring disastrous results, which have their impact on the evolution of the vineyard. Examples are spring frosts. These translate into major crop losses for the year, as they freeze small and emerging shoots, which are very delicate spring and summer hailstorms. These are always harmful, destroying the vegetation and are especially harmful in the ripening period when the grapes are almost ready to be picked. 
excessive rains during the harvest season. This brings about a high risk of rot, excessive heat during the summer. This can produce imperfections in the ripening of the grapes, causing less balanced, coarser grapes. Sometimes there are serious burns on the skin of grapes, with consequent losses. The light and temperature. These are very important for the ripening of the grapes. The temperature ensures that the plant is comfortable and can grow in such a way that the fruit can develop properly, especially during ripening. Areas with high temperatures during the ripening period can lead the grapes to dry out and their skin to wilt. We must stress here the importance of the contrast in temperature between night and day. Nighttime temperatures drop and allow the plant to rest and recharge its batteries so that it can properly synthesize food during the day. Rainfall and humidity. Rainfall is a key factor in the quality and production capacity of the plant and is also one of the most influential factors. Excessive water can cause a much diluted juice with low alcohol potential and poor aromatic expression. Lack of water causes dehydration, imbalances in the shape of the grape and less capacity to ripen properly, thereby resulting in wines with high alcohol potential and somewhat herbaceous textures and mellow sensations. Humidity is usually a negative factor as it facilitates the development of diseases and bacteria in the vineyard, which causes loss of production or quality. Under specific conditions, not common in Spain, humidity can lead to noble rot, Botrytis cinerea, which is a crucial factor in the production of some dessert wines in Northern Europe.